Thanks for being with the project. You're welcome. Is it okay to videotape this yeah. for to, to <coughs> Thank you. Can you tell us about some things you've been doing lately that have been enjoyable and fun? Yeah, want? I've been swimming recently, really? which has been nice. Okay. Yeah. Swimming in the pool? In a yeah, Harold Holt Pool. Okay. Always seemed a bit of an irony, irony to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> so you've you been you doing kind of laps, or are you getting you know, you just? Yeah, I've been doing laps. Oh, mm. yeah. Like overarm and go stroke. Or yeah, I sort of. Stroke or a bit of this and a bit of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And that's a fairly regular thing. Or? Uh, I'm tempted to say yes, but it wouldn't be true. I, I've been recently. I've right. had a little flurry. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And you like the experience of it, or how you feel afterwards, or yeah, the... both. Oh, okay. Yeah, both. Mm. Yeah, I like to um, do breaststroke and imagine I'm a turtle. <laughs> 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 and I like oh, to I get into the breathing when I'm doing okay. it. Okay, get into over arm and mm. okay. yeah, yeah. kind of meditation. It's mm. a way of thinking mm. about. What can we talk about that would be helpful? Oh, um, well, I didn't think about that before I came out. Oh, okay. Um, well, it doesn't matter. Maybe something that comes to mind as you just let yourself do whatever you're going to do. Yeah, I guess I'm anxious about, um, I'd like to take a group, uh, do a group um, hypnosis with one of the groups I'm taking yeah. but um, I'm anxious about doing that so okay. I guess that's something How would you rather feel? Um, I'd rather just feel comfortable with it and okay. I guess Like you're starting to feel now? Because I notice you just Yeah, feel. yeah, I'd rather sort of feel I'd rather feel open to the possibility of it not working rather than feeling anxious about it not working. Okay. I guess. All right. Well now, um, could it be okay if as you're going into hypnosis now you just notice that you can somehow find yourself feeling increasingly comfortable? Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. And perhaps you could just let that comfort uh, be something that you don't need to succeed at necessarily, but just open to the possibility of that. And then, however you notice that, perhaps as you breathe, that's it. You can just find yourself letting go into that comfort. Okay. And then as this experience continues, it may be as if you can just let yourself kind of get into it and even pretend that you're hypnotised and enjoy that experience whether you are or not doesn't matter you can just pretend and enjoy the experience would that be okay? But when you first learned to swim I don't know how it was for you but many people feel somewhat anxious they worry, are they going to sink, are they going to drown, are they going to do this, are they going to do that, I don't know what, won't be able to breathe or something. And then part of that experience of learning to swim is the experience of learning to feel increasingly comfortable. To such a degree that you can feel comfortable simply thinking of going for a swim. And I remember that <clears throat> when I was in Phoenix, that first conference in 1980, the idea of standing up in front of all those people, would I say the right thing, would I say the wrong thing? And first of all, it was supposed to be a couple of hundred people, and I was in sheer terror at the idea. By the time it happened, it was more than 2,000. Mm -hmm. And to make it worse, when I stood up to be a discussant for someone, 
he hadn't spoken about what he was supposed to speak about. So I had nothing to say. He sat down and I stood up in front of the microphone and looked out and here were all his faces listening. And I had nothing to say. And somehow I remembered what one of the other speakers had said. A lovely man called William Hanley. Who said that sometimes you don't know what you are going to say until after you will have said it. And somehow those words were in the background of my thinking. And also in the background was a letter that I had from David Koloff, who, when I wrote to him and said I didn't know about what was happening, what was it going to be like, I didn't know, could you give me some idea? He wrote me this letter saying, my advice for December is to pretend that you are a shitty therapist with no internal resources. And I read that. Some people might think it was arrogance, but I read that and I felt better. In any case, with all that in the background, I just did the only thing that I knew to do, given that I had nothing to say, as I just opened my mouth and listened to the sounds that came out. And I had some good comments made to me afterwards. When I was in Singapore in March, one of the fun things that we did was we went to a reservoir. I don't remember the name of it. And there were monkeys playing in the trees. And when we looked in the water, there were these little turtles. But there were so many of them swimming around there having such a good time. But one of them, and uh, it looked like a little baby turtle. It was really quite small. And it was trying to get the attention of one of the larger turtles. I don't know whether it was its mother or its father. I just wish I'd had a camera because it would swim around and it would get just in front of this turtle's face and it had its two front legs and you could see like fingers on it. And that the fingers were going to this other uh, turtle's lips. So here was this little turtle going, trying to get the. It was the. It was the. I'll never forget. It was such a sight. Now, <clears throat> I don't know. In this experience, whether it's going to be easy for you to remember a comfortable feeling. To somehow, as you get into that breathing, like getting into a group experience and just swim through that group hypnosis, or whether somehow you'll find that as you start, you can't guarantee that it's going to be successful. But you can enjoy the comfort of knowing that that is possible. And you can look forward to that unfolding. And whether you'll feel more comfortable knowing that beforehand, or whether maybe it'll only be after you start that you'll really start to settle in to that comfortable feeling. As you kind of shift around in that experience and find a way of somehow reminding yourself that you can be comfortable and you can make any adjustment if you get hot under the collar about something you can enjoy doing whatever you need to do and it can be so lovely to watch the way 
other people are showing all signs of becoming more comfortable, almost independent of your comfort. But those little, that little turtle, every time the bigger turtle moved around somewhere to try and get away from it, it would swim around, but not flat. It was swimming around kind of vertically. And it would get around in front of the, this turtle again. And it did it for I don't know how many times. And these tiny little fingers would come up until the lips of the turtle were just doing that kind of thing on the lips. It was such a, I just wish I had a movie of that. It was the cutest thing. I don't know whether it was trying to get attention, or trying to do it. I don't know what it was doing. But I really don't know what it's like to be a turtle. But I, I certainly enjoyed watching that. It was a lovely experience. And I've been back to several congresses after that 1981. And there have been more numbers and different workshops. But there was something about that experience for me of having that letter from David. And somehow hearing William Hanley's words. You don't need to know. You might know what you're going to say until after you have said it. It was very comforting somehow. Very reassuring. There was something about that. And you can get into the pool now and go swimming and feel more comfortable when you come out of that pool, having been in that pool. And the thought that you used to feel uncomfortable or anxious beforehand, when you look back now, it can be pleasing or amusing or quite charming to think how anxious you used to be. Because now you can go swimming as a way of increasing your comfort. Now just as you can find yourself, allow yourself to feel increasingly comfortable as you let yourself go into this experience, so as you begin to reorient yourself, you can bring that comfort with you. And I think it might be really charming if in a moment you would open your eyes and see just how comfortable you can feel. And it can be really delightful for you to notice that comfort. just as soon as you're ready. I know you're getting pretty comfortable there. It's like you don't, when you get into the pool and you've been, so you don't want to get out too soon. Mm -hmm. But you can uh, come out of the pool and know that you can get back into it again. And how would you say you were feeling now, Jane? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you, do you look more comfortable now than you were when we started? Is that the case, or is it just my? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, mm. you'd say so. Mm. And can you feel Definitely. so? Also? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I did have a moment of discomfort. Oh, good. You <laughs> have a moment of discomfort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to know that there's more than enough comfort mm. to take care of that, because we all feel moments of discomfort. It's called being alive, as far as I'm. But knowing that you can take that, those moments and still be comfortable. Mm. Now when you think about that, doing that group experience now, what's different for you? Well, I, I sort of have an image of swimming through it. Okay. And um, and I think it'll be okay. Yeah. I, I feel more that it would be okay now than I okay. did before. And you might be okay more afterwards as a result of that. 
Because that when you do good. something like that, it not only other people will get to feel more comfortable, mm. you can get to have some of their comfort. Think that's possible? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's likely. Yeah. So, <coughs> I really appreciate your willingness.